Hello everyone, this is your host, friend, your boy, Jet Black, the one and only, here with another exciting video, and in this video I'm going to be playing some AI Dungeon 2. Some AI Dungeon 2. Uh, I hope you guys are excited. Let me get the 30 minute timer set up, and let's hop into today's AI Dungeon 2 adventure. Okay, so it looks like the timer is already started, uh, so let's get this adventure on a roll. Well, let me, like full screen the timer. That way it's easier for you guys to see. Yeah, there we go. You are a human man. You have a wife and three kids. A massive talking dinosaur wants to come kill you so that he can take your wife as his own. You have been studying the anatomy of dinosaurs and where their pressure points are. The dinosaur is on its way. You're currently talking to your family. Then the AI said, you have a bow and basic hunting arrows. You can also lock yourself in your shed and grab your shotgun when the time comes. I'm going to say, well, actually, real quick, uh, I have to address something. Oh, I guess I don't. Never mind. Okay, let me keep going. So I'm going to say, um, wife, or I guess I should say, my loving wife, a dinosaur is coming to kill me and take you as its wife. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I want to get uh, my wife's perspective. A talking dinosaur is literally coming to murder me. Well, this isn't what you were expecting. Is this another dream? You look over at your sword on the wall in case it isn't. You realize that this is reality and that you're going to die soon. What about my wife? I'm trying to ask my wife a question. I'm going to say to my wife, a dinosaur is coming to kill me and take you as its wife. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, let me get my wife's perspective on the situation. Are you serious, your wife asked? Unfortunately, you reply. I didn't know you suffered from delusions, your wife replies. I don't, I swear, you plead. She stares at you. I'm going to say, you have to believe me. A talking dinosaur is on its way right now to kill me and take you. Also, let me jump into the settings and let me set the experimental setting to be on. Yeah, the automatic story summary. Cool. So let's see how this goes. Do, 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 do. Are you having a mental breakdown, she asks. Maybe you need therapy. You wait in silence for a moment, but your wife doesn't do anything. You try to move, but realize that you're paralyzed and cannot move. I'm paralyzed? I'm going to say, I'm paralyzed. Um, hmm. do we have any medication in the house that could help cure my paralysis? I wonder, I might just be paralyzed by fear. Maybe I'm scared or something. Do, 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 do. I can't find anything but this old bottle of alcohol, your wife says as she hands it to you. You take a gulp. Hey, you cough. That tastes disgusting. Well, maybe that will cure whatever is wrong with you, your wife says. <laughs> I'm not sure if alcohol is necessarily the best answer. Um... Hmm. I'm going to say, are you going to help me 
fight this dinosaur? Yeah, this talking dinosaur. You know, maybe on my own, I can't beat the dinosaur, but together, husband and wife, we can like defeat the dinosaur. I'm not exactly a fighter. I'm just a mother that wants to protect her children. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. That's fair. Uh, I'm going to say, what are you going to do if the dinosaur kills me and tries to take you as its wife? Do, 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 do. I'll drive a stick through his eyes and through his brain, your wife replies. You're serious, aren't you? You ask. Of course I'm serious. Why wouldn't I be? Your wife responds. So she's like, I'm not a fighter. But if the dinosaur does kill you, I'll pop off. Okay, I'm going to say... Why don't we fight the talking dinosaur together? Clearly, you're not afraid to fight if you have to. Yeah, like based on what you just said, I don't see why you wouldn't like hop into this fight. Let's fight it. But what about our children, your wife asked? I don't want them to see, is what I say. That's interesting. I mean, that's fair. It does sound like it'd probably be like a horrible fight. And if we did die, it'd be fairly traumatizing. Let's go in the shed then and wait for it, you say. Oh, wait, hold up. So does my wife say, but what about the children? I don't want them to see. Okay, that's probably all her talking. Then I say, Let's go in the shed then and wait for it. You and your wife walk to the shed. You open up the door and enter. Okay. So I'm going to say, what's the plan for when the dinosaur shows up? You know, like if we're inside of the shed now, I know there's a shotgun in the shed or whatever. What are we gonna do use the shotgun to kill the dinosaur? Well, I guess we just try to kill it before it kills us, your wife says. Okay. Killbot said, you are married to a woman. You are not fighting. No fight things. You gain no points. Excuse me. I'm going to say, how do we plan on killing the dinosaur? It will be here any minute. Also, there was a sword inside of the house. I didn't grab the sword. It's like in a case inside of the house. I don't know. You're the one who said that you studied dinosaurs. You start thinking of a way while I watch the door. Interesting. She'll watch the door and then I have to think of a way to kill the dinosaur. You sit there for a while and think. But then the door opens. It's the dinosaur. It looks like a tall humanoid covered in blue scales. I'm going to say, Dinosaur, what is your name? Let's figure out uh, what this dinosaur goes by and why it's trying to take my wife. Do -do 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 -do. My name is Spike, the tall humanoid says in a deep voice. Great, now die, your wife says as she stabs Spike in the foot that is already bleeding from when he climbed through the window. Oh, climbed through the window. The door opened and it was the dinosaur. When did he climb through a window? Retry that last part. He didn't climb through a window. My boy went through the door. My name, the dinosaur asked. I don't think I have a name. I was never named when I was younger. Well, I'm going to call you Scales then. 
which I don't know who says that. Either I say it or my wife says it. And then the dinosaur goes, scales. I like that. <laughs> okay, cool. So I'm going to say to scales, why do you want to kill me and take my wife? Let's try and get an understanding for why a talking dinosaur would want to take my human wife. Though, to be honest, if he's like a tall humanoid covered in scales, he doesn't really sound like a dinosaur for real. I have to mate with her. It is the instinct of my kind. I will then create little hybrids to take over this place. I'm sorry, what? Is this a world domination plan that involves me getting cucked? Is that, is that what's happening? Wait, what? You say in confusion? I'm a manticore. The manticore says, what? A manticore? I thought you were a dinosaur. <laughs> the fuck's happening? Do, 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 do. I'm both. I'm a manticore, a species of monster that has the body of a lion in the face of a person and the body of a dragon or other large lizard. I also have wings and can fly. And it had me then say, why are you trying to take over my home? Uh, no, I get it now. He wants to smash my wife so that he can have hybrid babies so he can use to take over. I'm gonna say, why do you want to take over? Are you trying to take over the world? Yeah, like, is he trying to like breed with my human wife to have a bunch of human manticore hybrid children that he can use to take over the world? I want to take over because my instincts tell me to. It is the way of nature. Never thought I'd be fighting for my life against a nature show, you say? It's weird to call something a nature show, like a sentient being. The manticore roars, and you both engage in battle. Oh, fuck, I gotta fight the manticore now? I thought I could talk it out. Um, but if he says his instinct... Um... Hmm... I'm going to say, why do you want to meet with my wife? Why not meet with a single human female who is into manticores? Yeah, I just think there are other options, right? You don't, you don't have to get with my wife specifically. Just go with somebody else. Easy game. <laughs> I tried that before. It was all right, but I prefer to have my children with one that is compatible. Besides, your human wife will have more manticore babies that are closer to human than I will. And then it has me say, what does it take to kill you? <laughs> also, I tried that before. It was all right, but I prefer to have my children with one that is compatible. And my human wife will have more manticore babies that are closer to human. Okay. Why, why do you even want that? Why do you want manticore human hybrid babies? Wouldn't pure manticores just be stronger? Like, what's the point of even, like, getting with a human female in the first place if you're trying to, like, start an army to take over the world? Yeah, it just seems counterintuitive. <laughs> Ooh, hybrids are better in every way. Look at yourself. You're a human that has scales and a tail. You're more fit than the pure humans, yet not as fit as I am. Wait, no, 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 no. I'm not a hybrid. I'm a normal human. Don't don't make it seem like I'm like a mix. Let's see. Manticores are violent and aggressive. 
When they're human hybrids, they're more intelligent and less likely to attack anything that isn't threatening it. Hybrids are also weaker than pure mana cores, so they won't try to kill me to take over. Oh, so that's interesting. He's like, I recognize that I'm like violent and aggressive and I just fuck shit up. But he's like, I also recognize that if I'm going to take over the world, I'm going to need some more clear-minded, intelligent beings to help me out. But I don't need them to be too strong because then they might overthrow me. So it seems like Scales has thought out his world domination plans a little bit. Um, so here, I got, I got an idea. Um, for one, put, a, put an end quote on what he said. I'm going to say, um, why not? What's a, what's a good question? I mean, not a good question. Well, yeah, a good question. I do want to ask it something. Because I think I could potentially convince Scales into doing something else. Um, do, 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 do. Why not force a genetic engineer to create hybrids for you? Then you don't have to fuck my wife. Yeah. I hear with these ideas. <laughs> You know, if you're willing to do things by force anyways, do that. Do that. Don't take my wife. I tried that. They all gave the hybrid a human mind, but it kept on getting more and more aggressive due to the genes it inherited from its mother. I had to kill them before they killed everyone in the facility. The manticore's breath reaches you. Also, hold up. Judgebot said, you're a fool if you think you can defeat me with words. Me is the judge bot the manticore. <laughs> so it sounds like you already know that your plan won't work. If it didn't work with genetically engineered hybrids, it isn't going to. Let's see. It isn't going to work with naturally bred hybrids either. Yeah, like this seems like a fool's errand. There's no reason for him to do this. Do, 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 do. It's worth a try. Now I must kill you before your bullets give out. Wait, what? Before, before my bullets give out, what does that mean? The Mendicore charges at you. You shoot it several times in the face while backing away. The bullets do nothing. Before my bullets give out. I guess I should change that to, now I must kill you before it's too late. So, Hmm. It's worth a try is all he has to say. That's lame. I'm going to ask my... Hold up, hold up, hold up. Why kill me to get my wife? Why not just ask my wife if she'd be willing to participate? Right? Like, just ask her. And then I don't have to die over the, the find a fucking bulletproof dinosaur manticore because your wife is a nice person. I won't take the chance that she'll say no. Also, she's the only... Whoa, hold up. She's the only human around, so... The manticore tackles you. You hit the ground hard. Oh, well, I tried. <laughs> I like that I say, oh, well, I try. Dun, 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 dun. You know, I, I give it a shot. Um, the Manticore just straight up said that he wasn't willing to take a no from my wife. So what happens if she does just say no? I'm going to say to my wife, tell the Manticore that you're not interested in birthing his children. 
Like, maybe he'll just go away <laughs> if you just say no. Do, 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 do. I'm not doing that. What kind of person does that? He'll kill us both. <laughs> the wife's like, I'm not, I'm not fucking crazy. And I'm like, he'll kill us both anyway. And then she goes, nope, he's not going to kill you. I told him he can have me, but not you. And then suddenly it gives me like an ellipses. I'm like, did you hear that manticore? My wife said she'll birth your children if you don't kill me. This is so weird. This is such a weird situation. I wonder if I can kill the manticore when his guard's down or something. Or maybe we can kill its kids. I mean, this is like actually a legitimate problem because the manticore is trying to take over the world. Yes, I heard her. Please, Bob, let me do this. I'll be okay. You think to yourself, there's no chance in hell that he'll actually listen and let us both go. You try to talk the manticore into letting you go. Okay. Oh, gosh. What do I need to do? I'm going to say uh, to my wife. Now, while he's distracted, stab him through the eye. <laughs> The whole world's on the line. It's not just my wife. It's the entire planet. You grab the manticore's tail and swing him around. Whoa, what? He hits a tree hard. What? His eye is shown along with blood coming out of it. What? You fire at it and hit him in the face several times. He roars in pain and runs away from you. What happened? I'm gonna say, yo, I have no idea what happened. <laughs> I asked uh, you to take down the manticore and then suddenly I just went sicko mode. Maybe I just had an adrenaline rush. Maybe I couldn't imagine living without you. <laughs> I like how the game is suddenly like, and then you whoop his ass. You go in hard for like no reason. Also, I didn't kill the manticore, so he's probably gonna come back later with an eye patch. Oh, then you did the right thing says my wife. You take your wife back to your car. As you're driving back to your house, you turn on the radio. They mention a man killing a manticore in the woods with his bare hands. That's strange. I'm gonna say, our shed is farther away from the house than I would have imagined. Also, news travels fast. I'm surprised that the community already knows that I beat the manticore. Also, what happened to that 30 minute timer? Has it not been 30 minutes? It has not, it's been like 24 minutes. Yes, the community is quite a thing, as small as it is, you can still learn anything about anyone within a day. You're telling me. I already knew three things about you before we even met. Oh, really? What did you know about me? Okay, so now I have to admit I knew about my wife. I'm going to say, actually, uh, I'm drawing a blank. I guess uh, I'm still pumped with adrenaline. Um... Remind me, remind me of things about yourself. Uh, pretend like we're meeting for the first time. There we go. I'll 
I'll get to re-meet my wife. This is one of the interesting things about AI Dungeon 2, where you're like, oh, well, I just actually have never talked to this person before, so I need to make something work. Well, I'm a school teacher. I love to read. I have a son who is almost your age. I think that's about it. I'm sorry, I have three kids, but one of my kids is almost my age. My mind is like, maybe she remarried a really young guy. Like a super young guy. Like so young, I could practically be her son. Hmm. Where do you teach? I ask. I teach at the high school down the road, my wife says. I'm going to say, hmm. What was your first husband like? Let's get some of this backstory. I don't see how that's really important right now, says my wife. Come on, I told you a secret. Now it's your turn to tell me one. Also, it'll help take your mind off what's about to happen. You look at her as she seems hesitant. Okay. I'm going to say... I didn't mean to drudge up bad memories. It is okay if you don't want to talk about it. But if you change your mind, I'm here for you. It seemed like something bad happened. It wasn't a good breakup. Do 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 do. She seems happy that you are supportive and understanding. As you get closer to your house, your son steps outside. He pulls out his phone and makes a call. He says, it's done. No, everything is fine. He doesn't suspect anything. What? I'm going to say uh, to my son. Did you hire a manticore to try and kill me? You can't just say stuff like that out loud. I can hear you. I heard what you said. Son that is my age. Your son looks at you and says, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm going inside. You go inside and your wife goes to the kitchen to start dinner. You follow her and give her a hug from behind. I'm going to say, I think our son hired that manticore. To kill me. <laughs> yeah, like this is this is actually like an even crazier plot than before. She turns to you and says, but why would he do that? I don't know. I'm just speculating, I reply. Your son walks in and asks, what are you two talking about? You look at him and say, nothing. Then I'm going to say, Nothing except the fact that you hired a manticore to kill me. Why did you hire a manticore to kill me? Yeah, I'm calling you out. What? I'm not going to chill here, just eat dinner with my murderer's son. My murderous son who's like around the same age as me. Son, I didn't, I swear. Wife, what's going on? You look at your son and back at your wife, unsure of how to respond. Your son then runs outside, followed by you. I'm going to say, son, I overheard your phone call. I know what you did. Just admit to it. We can talk about this like adults. I say as if we're not around the same age. Really, really weird plot. Uh, but I dig it. Dinosaurs and manticores and murder sons. <laughs> Tune in every Thursday for hella fun. Okay. He turns around and quickly... Oh, wait, hold up. He turns around and runs quickly towards you. He is now close enough to attack you. 
Whoa, the manticore leaps out from the trees and tackles you. You pull out your sword and begin fighting it. Oh, crap. I'm going to say, son, how many manticores did you hire to kill me? <laughs> what? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. We got another one. <sighs> Goodness. Son, I didn't hire them. They're just violent creatures that probably smelt the scent of blood and came here. <laughs> then the wife says, why would they do that? Why would our son do that? The manticore then says, I'm going to kill you. Oh my gosh. I'm going to say, our son was about to attack me. He showed his hand. He just won't admit what he's up to. And I'm going to say uh, to my son, tell me why. <laughs> and I'm up with that Backstreet Boys. Ain't nothing but a heartbreak. Tell me why. <laughs> Let's hit it up. Son, I don't have to tell you anything. The manticore leaps into the air and bites your head off. Oh shit, I'm hella dead, super mega dead. Oh, we hit the 30 minute mark? How do we hit the 30 minute mark and I not notice? How long have we been going for? Oh, and we must have just hit it and I just didn't hear it. Yo, yeah. Uh, so that was a crazy adventure. Uh, it ended right on time. I got my head bitten off. Yo, thank you all for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button, favorite, comment, subscribe, and ding, 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 ring the notification bell. We know if I'm going to do these videos. This is your host, your friend, your boy, Jet Black One Only. Logging out. Peace, guys. Subscribe. I do AI Dungeon 2 videos every day. Check it about.